At Channel 4 News, we understand your time is valuable. That's why we bring you the important news you need when you need it. Every night, seven days a week at 11 o'clock, we let you know how today's stories affect you. No silly slogans, just local news that matters to the First Coast. You get the breaking stories, the stories you'll be telling your friends about, and an hour-by-hour -hour forecast so you can plan the next day. Channel 4 News at 10 and 11. From the people who truly care about what matters to you. From the Information Center of First Coast News, this is First Coast News at 5. Please take a look at this. Gasoline prices increasing right before your very eyes. So With Good Morning Jacksonville, you get more news. We focus on what's new, what's now, and what's next. New. Because you need to know everything that happened while you were sleeping. Now. Breaking news happens in an instant. Corinne at our news team. Get that information to you first and get it right. Next. Any traffic problems or severe weather headed your way? Steve and Amanda keep you one step ahead as you plan your day. What's new, what's now, and what's next? Only on Good Morning Jacksonville. Live from Jacksonville, you're watching Action News at 6.30. Hey, good morning. Welcome to Action News this morning. It is Tuesday, March 29th. Glad you're with us. You're watching Action News Morning Rush on CBS 47 and Fox 30. All right, good morning, everybody. It's time for your Morning Rush. Glad you're here. I'm Mike Barnes. I'm Don Bolton. Channel 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Good evening to you on this Sunday evening. We're following a breaking news alert from Washington, D.C. The Morning Show makes mornings happen. We know your time is valuable, especially in the morning. Yeah, we're going to have a little fun, but we're not going to waste your time because we know you've got stuff to do. The Morning Show on Channel 4 makes mornings happen. Live from CBS 47, this is Action News at 5. Coverage you can count on in high definition. Begins with breaking news. After an all-new Chicago code, our cameras caught them. Illegals working in your neighborhood, taking your jobs. So if we can find them, why isn't anyone doing anything about it? The truth is, you're not going to like the answer. Just because you're charged of a crime does not mean that you're necessarily going to be deported. And basically, they don't. An Action News special investigation tonight at 10 on Fox 30. You're watching the award-winning TV 10 and 55 News at 11 with Richard Rose and Michelle Imperato. Weather with David Weiss and sports with Kurt Semter. Now, the News at 11 continues. The man accused of killing four people in a state. When skies turn stormy, think two first. Channel 2 News has Portland's best storm watchers. Teaming experience with technology to keep you ahead of the storm. When winter weather strikes, turn to two first. Channel 2 News. March, March 3rd, the weather's about to change. As the Northwest's largest, most experienced weather team welcomes meteorologist Matt Safino. Join Matt and make the switch to Northwest News Channel 8. Broadcasting live for Dallas and Fort Worth, this is the news station. Fox 4 News at 10. I think it, it, it sets a, a frightening precedent for across the country, and I think it's a terrible setback for low-income families. It is a victory for some, but a court ruling defeat for others. Good evening, everybody. It's being called a race-conscious remedy that should have been instead a remedy of last resort. The Fifth Circuit goes later on Fox. You're watching Fox 4 News, the news station, with Clarice Tinsley, Steve Eager, Tim Heller, and Mike Ducey. She called my Hi, I'm News 4's Chief Meteorologist John Sesserich. Hurricane season is in full swing, and now you can follow the paths of this year's storms at home. Get your new 2001 Hurricane Guide and Tracking Map today. Maps are available at your local Verizon Wireless store. It's full of safety tips, weather terms, and useful information to help you track hurricanes. Stop by a Verizon Wireless location today. Get your 2001 Hurricane Guide and Tracking Map today. And remember, for complete weather coverage and live local breaking news, keep watching WYFF News 4. 
WYFF News 4, honored with 14 South Carolina Associated Press Awards, including Television News Station of the Year. Ready for a sizzling summer. You're watching WYFF, Greenville, Spartanburg, Asheville, Anderson. Now, live, local, breaking news from the home of Sky 4. This is WYFF News 4. Maybe some of them were afraid that if they came, there wouldn't be anything here. Many stayed away, but thousands more called Greenville home this week. Tonight, the Gold Wing Riders could be leaving town for the last time. But our top story tonight, some very heavy weather on the coast of both Carolinas, in fact. Good evening, I'm Michael Cogdill. And I'm Carol Goldsmith. Let's go right to John Seswich for the very latest on this stormy weather. John. Okay, Carol and Michael, let's take a look at DopplerNet, our network of Doppler for people in the most fragile part of life. It's a time when many folks might give up hope, but his unique approach helps give them strength. You're watching WYFF News 4 at 6. Live, local breaking news with Carol Goldsmith, Michael Condill, Chief Meteorologist John Setzerich, and Sports with Jeff Hart. This is WYFF News 4. When the big story breaks, you don't want to wait. You want to know what's happening, and you want to know now. At 10 TV, we've made a commitment to cover the big stories like no one else in Central Ohio. We've got more tools, more satellite uplinks, more trucks, more resources, more people to get the pictures to you first. And we don't stop there. Anyone can show you how a story is seen. We stick with it long after all the others are gone. We don't leave until we can tell you how the story ends. More equipment, more people gets us there first. Keeps us there longest. The source for news, 10 TV. This war ahead of us is the difficult task of securing a potentially historic peace. President Bush declares victory and a temporary ceasefire in the Gulf War. Earlier, in the desert of southern Iraq, Allied forces won the biggest tank battle since the Second World War. This is NBC News at sunrise. Good morning, everyone. I'm Margaret Larson. The message flashed in New York City's Times... Hey, Mike, is there any way I can get you on a personal beeper? You spoke out, and we listened. Sign up today for the Foxcast by email beeper or Palm Pilot. Fox21.com, connecting with you 24 hours a day. I well, welcome back to Nonstop Rundown. Do I need a sweater or not? I'm affected by the weather just like everyone else. Well, what I want to know is, how is the weather going to affect my life? And I know the viewers feel that way, too. We have a mountain climate. We have a desert climate. We have mesas. We have valleys. We have the coastal plain. So there is absolutely different weather. But it all falls under the umbrella of perfect. San Diego explained not just what's happening, but how and why. The story behind the story. We define, discover, and reveal a groundbreaking partnership with the voice of San Diego so you can put it all together and truly understand. San Diego explained with the voice of San Diego every Wednesday night exclusively on NBC7 San Diego News at 6. NBC San Diego News at 7. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Catherine Garcia. I'm Mark Mullen. Welcome, everyone. Big news from the state capitol tonight. Governor Jerry. From ABC News, this is the Weekend Report. Now from our Washington headquarters, substituting for Tom Gerald, here's Ann Gerald. Good evening. Pope John. Queen Elizabeth II stepped on California soil for the first time. Along with the historical significance, Her Majesty's visit to San Diego brought with it the pomp and ceremony you'd expect from royalty. A day in San Diego fit for a queen, this Saturday, February 26th. Live from San Diego, this is the 10 News Weekend Report. The Royal Tour with Ed Lenderman, Joe McMahon, Adrian Alpert, Susan McBride, Leonard Villarreal, and the entire Channel 10 News team. Majesty's Yacht Britannia, Adrian Alpert is standing. So long for now. <laughs>
Who is it, Headley? A special interview with Ann Gillian tonight on Entertainment This Week. Good evening, I'm John Palmer, and this is NBC Nightly News. Elena, now officially classified as a major hurricane, gained more strength today, with top winds now clocked at 120 miles an hour. After Tonight, victories and casualties, the sweeping change in Canadian politics. Five parties make election history. The staff had me celebrating last night. Yes! but not the kind some had hoped for. I will not uh, be remaining as leader of this party. It seems uh, working very well for him. He breathes better during the night. Salt therapy to control asthma. It feels like a miracle to me. True believers, but where's the science to back it up? And... Everyone's in great spirits around the city. Go, Canucks, go! Vancouver hockey fans sing praises for the home team. They can't contain us to stop us. Let's go for the cup. CTV National News with Lloyd Robertson. Good evening. The cheering. Sport at 5 and 11. From ABC News, this is the Weekend Report. Now from our Washington headquarters, here's Tom Gerald. Good evening. Senator Paul Songus called it not a lame duck session, but a lame brain session. Such... This is NBC News Digest. Here is Jennifer McLogan, NBC News. Good evening. Afghanistan today became the eighth communist bloc nation to withdraw from the Los Angeles Olympics. It was the Russian... The firewalking phenomenon. Bare feet, red-hot coals. Science can't explain it, but thousands are lining up to try it. Tomorrow on NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. NBC 15 News starts now. Now at 10, a bombshell tonight. A verdict in the case many of you have been following all over the country as a young... NBC 15's Charlie Shortino. Now you can see many of the same tools we use when severe weather strikes our area. Just visit stormmode.com for watches, warnings, local storm tracks, and more. It's just another reason NBC 15 is the weather authority. Get the hottest... NBC 15 is the weather authority. Get the WMTV app free for your iPhone or Droid, or download Desktop Alert free on your computer at NBC15.com. From WKOW, coming to you live in HD, this is 27 News at 6. We've got you covered. Tonight, Madison police say a murder suspect from South Dakota confessed to them, and they say they were able to find him by using some common technology. Good evening. You're watching 27 News in HD with Greg Jeske, Diana Henry, meteorologist Bob Lindmeyer, and sports director Jake Zimmerman. This is 27 News at 6. We've got you covered. From WKOW, coming to you live in HD. This is 27 News at 6.30. We've got you covered. Tonight, a former vice president is stepping in to help get Minnesota's government back up and running. You're watching 27 News at HD with Greg Jeske, Sabrina Hall, meteorologist Brian Olson, and sports director Jake Zimmerman. This is 27 News at 6.30. We've got you covered. Everybody enjoy. It is the 235th anniversary of our nation's independence, but not ever. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 at 6. Right now at 6, some power outages continue to linger from a windstorm late last night. And now, meteorologist Michelle Podell and storm teammate Weather. Well, you don't need me to tell you that it was hot. It starts now. You're watching your local news on WAND. Storm Center 17 at 6. First in HD. Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. Parts of central Illinois getting some rain right now. ABC 12 News this morning. Next. Flags fly at half staff today as the body of private first class Brian Backus returns to Harbor Beach. 
A 16-year-old U of M basketball recruit will be taken out of a coma today. He has now survived two plane crashes that have killed his entire family. Doc Watson will be bringing a souped-up Chevy and jobs to mid-Michigan. This is mid-Michigan's most watched morning news. This is your trusted source, ABC 12 News This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, June 27th. I'm Candace Burns. And I'm Larry Elliott. Great to have you with us this morning. It was a gorgeous... You're watching ABC 12 News this morning. Candace Burns, Larry Elliott, and meteorologist John McMurray. ABC 12 News, your trusted source. Closed captioning of... Live and local with coverage you can count on. This is WNEM TV 5 News at noon. An elderly mid-Michigan man still missing this noon hour. Thank you for joining us. I'm Amy. Coming up tonight, a pilot crashes, killing himself and his wife. But he's been involved in a deadly crash before. Plus, a civil rights activist gunned down in his own home is laid to rest. And strap on the skates. Grannies and glitter are going for gold at the roller rink. Serving mid-Michigan, you're watching NBC 25 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Hardhorn. We begin tonight... Keeping mid-Michigan connected, it's NBC 25 News with Jenny Suniga, Dan Armstrong, meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and Dylan Collier with sports. NBC 25 News, get connected. Welcome back. A civil rights... Some North Good evening, I'm Erica Erickson. There are more people carrying concealed weapons according to the... You're watching ABC 10. Live, local, with 10 minutes of non-stop news. ABC 10 News Now. Good evening, thanks for joining us for ABC 10 News Now. I'm Jen Codanini. The... Lots of sunshine. I'll have that forecast coming up. From Northern Michigan's news leader, this is 9 and 10 News at 6. We're going to do what we need to do. Closed captioning is made possible by the law offices of Sam Bernstein. First with your news, this is Fox 66 News at 10. Mid Michigan's only 10 p.m. news. First at 10 this Serving your town and all of Northern Michigan, this is 7 and 4 News at 11. People are going to start seeing those services that are off. You're watching 7 and 4 News at 11 with Mark Cholette, Diana Fairbanks, Chief Meteorologist Mark Watkins, and Giacomo Accardo with sports. We're your custom UP forecast is on three. From WJMN TV. This is Channel 3 News at 11, where the news starts with you. Thank you for joining us in just a few short months. From WAOW, all your coverage in stunning high definition. Newsline 9 at 5, your trusted resource. Now at 5, Park Road going up Rib Mountain is fully open. Of course, we did have a lot of uh, rain earlier. Emily Erickson. She's one reason Tom and Cindy Erickson turn to Storm Track 9 weather. The Storm Track 9 weather team, your trusted resource. All your coverage in stunning high definition with Melissa Langman and Tony Schumacher. Newsline 9 at 5, your trusted resource. Welcome back to you. Well, the countdown. From WAOW, all your coverage in stunning high definition. Newsline 9 at 6, your trusted resource. Some Northwoods bit. All your coverage in stunning high definition with Melissa Langman, Brian Garoff, Tony Schumacher, and Jason Geyser. Newsline 9 at 6, your trusted resource. Welcome back to you with the holiday week. From Northern Michigan's news leader, this is Michigan This Morning with Scott Michael Traeger, Robin Haynes, 
and Doppler 9 and 10 meteorologist Michael Stevens. Your first look at local news, live coverage from where you live, and the 10-minute weather guarantee. Michigan This Morning, only on Northern Michigan's News Leader. Good Wednesday morning to you at 7 o'clock in a live look over Manistee right now. It looks right now. This is Action 2 News at 4. Coverage you can count on. The climbing Live from our studio in Wausau, in high definition, News Channel 7 at 10 starts now. With the busy holiday weekend approaching, law enforcement is asking people to think about safety. Powered by Newsline 9, this is Fox 55 News at 9. The holiday kicks off as people hit the road for a long weekend. Also, this is WEAU 13 News at 6. All new at 6, live pictures from our Eau Claire Sky Cam showing blue skies. The oppressive fest, day one. Your station for balanced news and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 9. Tonight, Wisconsin's concealed carry bill needs only the signature of the governor to become law. And with from WFRV TV, this is Channel 5 News, the area's first and only HD newscast. Thank you for joining us tonight. After a cool start to our summer, this heat wave. The government shut down drags on through its first. Tonight on Fox at 9. I think it's ridiculous. They're closed, but state parks remain a big draw. Why folks are still flocking to them. Also, a community's deadliest fire in decades erupts at a bed and breakfast. How many people were killed and why the death toll could still rise. And small businesses in town want everyone thinking local. See what they're doing to lure in more customers this month. Fox at 9 starts now. Well, hi there, everyone. Thanks for being here with us tonight. I want to start right away with... Live from WFSB, Connecticut's most watched local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 5.30. We begin with breaking news at 5.30 out of Suffield. The fire department now on the scene of a body recovery in Lake Con everywhere with weather and traffic every 10 minutes everywhere with breaking news and the day's top stories eyewitness news is everywhere to start your day live from wfsb connecticut's most watched local news this is channel 3 eyewitness news at noon people all across connecticut are picking up the pieces now Following breaking news out of Meriden, where police say that... Get all the news from overnight, plus more live reports, up-to-the-minute traffic, and Joe's weather forecast. More reporters, more meteorologists, more coverage. More of what you want in a morning newscast. Fox Connecticut News. More in the morning. Join Fox Connecticut and the Hartford Current to help save the lives of 10 men from prostate cancer by playing in the Curtis D. Robinson Men's Health Institute's second annual golf classic, August 4th at 8 a.m. at Tunks's Plantation in Farmington, Connecticut. Live. News 8 at 5 starts now. Hi, everybody. We are following a developing story out of Brantford tonight where police are on the hunt right now for a bank robbery suspect. He's a mattress professionals. From Connecticut's newsroom, Fox Connecticut News at 10. We're working on a developing story out of Waterbury tonight where firefighters say two people have died in a fire. We will go out live to Waterbury in just a moment. But first on Fox, a seven-year battle that started. You're watching Fox 11 News at 9 with Tom Milburn. Michelle Melvin, Fox 11 severe weather expert Patrick Powell with your forecast first, and Drew Smith live from the Fox 11 Sports Center. President Obama. 
When Storm Team 5 breaks into your favorite show. This is a life or death situation. It means your town, your property, or even your life could be in danger. We're going to be taking cover right now, away from windows, doors, outside walls, get down to the lowest floor you can. Storm Team 5's most important job is to track the storm's path with the most powerful weather technology on the planet and to stay on the case until we're absolutely sure everyone is safe. Storm Team 5, always watching. When news breaks, you can trust Channel 5 to deliver the most reliable, up-to-date information available. In HD. When there's a story to be told about your town, your money, your health, your weather. You can trust Channel 5 to be on your side. In HD. From the scene to the newsroom to the anchor desk, you can trust us to give you fast, fair, and accurate reporting every time. In HD. Channel 5 News, the area's first and only HD newscast.